In this video, let's see irremovable discontinuity part 2. In the previous video, we saw irremovable discontinuity part 1. That means in such cases wherein the function is discontinuous and you cannot do anything about it, what are the various scenarios where we get those things, where we get irremovable discontinuity. The first scenario we already saw, the second scenario for that we have this graph and we have a function, example function, let's write example. Now, function fx is equal to 5x plus 5 upon x plus 1, x minus 6. Now, if you see that, you can take 5 common, right? So, it becomes 5x plus 1 upon x plus 1 into x minus 6 things get cancelled, x plus 1's get cancelled, the function value now changes. It actually is fx is equal to 5 upon x minus 6. Now what about when x is equal to 6? When x is equal to 6, I say that it becomes 5 upon 0 again indeterminate. So I cannot talk about x being equal to 6. When x is equal to 6, it is nothing but a vertical line. There is no value that you get. But what about the limit? If I say limit x tends to 6 negative and I have the function. When it is 6 negative that means you have to take a value which is slightly less than 6. Slightly less than 6 means maybe 5.9999. If I suppose take 5 upon 5.9999 minus 6. This is what the function says. The value whatever less it may be but it will still be negative. Downwards denominator will be negative. 5 upon negative will again give me a negative value. So LHL is what it is negative. Moving about talking about right hand limit. The right hand limit of the function would be what? Whatever the value is it should be 6.000001 say. If you put 6.00001 minus 6 again you have what 0 0.001 left which is very less value but still it is positive so left hand limit will give me negative and if I take right hand limit it will be positive positive plus sign very less but yes positive this is not tends to remember this is just that it will give me something of that sort value so a positive value and a negative value can never be equal because we don't take 0 any positive value or negative value can never be equal. That means left hand limit and right hand limit are not going to be equal. When the limit does not exist, that means the limits are not equal, the function is not continuous, so it is discontinuous. One thing. The other thing, if we see graphically, this is y axis, this is x axis, we have the 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are actually drawn and pointed for our convenience. I say that for 6 we cannot say about anything because for 6 what happens exactly 6 I say it becomes 0 in the denominator. So it's just a dotted line. When things are greater than 6 that means RHL 5.99 would be LHL 6.001 would be RHL. When things are just greater you have positive value so basically you are going towards the positive. And since it is actually reaching infinite or indeterminate so you have something called as the asymptotes. Right? And what about having LHL? LHL means negative, LHL means getting negative. Negative means that is why we are going downwards. The y value downwards is negative, upwards is positive. The other thing, because it is a case wherein we are seeing it tends to, it tends to, it is expected to approach. So we are not joined them, so we are not merged them, there is still some gap left. So this kind of discontinuity is also called as irremovable discontinuity.